my fellow Toastmasters and guests. Today I'm going to be speaking on Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. It's one of the things in my life that I get the most enjoyment out of. Visualize this with me. It's Sunday and it's 15 minutes before the game starts and I'm sitting on the edge of my chair and am I excited? And then I get the opportunity to share with you about Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. What an exciting time. Russell Wilson was born in Richmond, Virginia, and he had mother Tammy, Harrison III, his father, uh, a brother, and Anna. And they were very close and had a wonderful life. Well, when Russell was in the fourth grade, when it was a rainy recess, he decided that he would be the director. So all the kids were playing on the ground and he was sitting in the rocking chair. And so as they played the games, he would direct them. And so he started being a director in the fourth grade. And the teacher couldn't believe it. Then when he was seven years old, or in the seventh grade, excuse me, he decided, hey, you know, I know that some of the kids are smarter as far as learning, and he loves sports, but he said, I'm going to incorporate this, and I'm going to make a deal with them. I'm going to trade them information about learning, and, they, and in return, I will train them on whatever sport they want to learn. And he loves baseball, basketball, um, football, anything he can get his hands on. And his parents were concerned and they wanted to make sure that each of their children had a good education. So the mother went ahead and she took the English and the science and the dad went ahead and took the history and together they worked and Russell worked really hard with his scholastic abilities. And as time went on, hey, he was in the 10th grade. Time passed so fast. And he wanted to try out for quarterback. And just like the Seahawks and Pete Carroll, that coach decided, hey, it's going to be competitive. We're going to get out here and we're going to practice. And whoever's the best gets the quarterback position. Russell won. It was a great big, it was a deal for him. He loved it. And then he got to college. And he was into baseball, he was into football, and things went well and he was learning so much and he was helping direct the other team players. If he had an idea, he'd share it with them. And it was just an exciting time for him. And then it was the Seahawk tryouts. Ah, what a day, what a day. And here, uh, Pete, Coach Carroll, who is 63 but acts like he's 33, and he's a gum-chewing guy, I tell you. The more nervous and excited he gets, the more and the faster he chews the gum. But anyway, um, it was a, it's a great experience to know Russell, and you have to know a little bit about him. He, when he was growing up and he had a problem, he would go to his mother, and his mother would say, well, you need to talk to the Lord, Russell. You need to go ahead and pray. And whatever ideas and help they give you, you need to be ready to make a change. And so that is part of the way Russell thinks. Uh, he is, he goes to the children's hospital once a week. He helps the cancer patients. He gives them a hug. Uh, he helps his tel fellow teammates. If they need help with passing or, or whatever, he's out there. He gets up early, uh, he works late, and he's not like a lot of the team players I know. They're excited about getting the paycheck and going on a vacation, but not Russell, not Russell. He wants to do a good job and do the very best he can. He's the type of guy who, he doesn't think about the past, he doesn't think about the future, but he concentrates on the moment what's happening right now and so like if he's going to make a play he's thinking about that play he's not thinking about i mean and when he's done he incorporates the things he learned from that play 
into the next game he has or his practices. And he is one of the um, most awesome guys. He's honest, he's a good guy, and he cares about other people. When they talk about the Seahawks and, and how they're doing, and I read the commentators negative, positive, what's going to happen, I know that Russell's going to be out there and he's going to be doing the very best he can. You know, picture this. Two minutes of the game are left. Two minutes. And they need a touchdown. And what does Russell do? He gets out of the pocket and he makes a touchdown. And do they win the game? Yes. Yes, they do. And one of my wishes is if I could actually go in person and see a Seahawks game, I would be so thrilled and happy to do that. Uh, my son works for a company and they gave him tickets and he took one of the people that go ahead and, and uh, are customers of his. And they, the company gave him Seahawks games, money for dinner, and parking money. And I was wishing I could have been that customer. <laughs> Anyway, in, in conclusion, if you want to know somebody, you study about their history, you learn about them. And I have learned a great deal about Russell Wilson, and I'm proud to know him.